Welcome back to 2230, where we delve into stories that matter. Today, we bring you a deeply distressing tale of a 63-year-old private hire vehicle driver, Mr. Sue, whose life has been turned upside down by an ongoing neighbor dispute. I'm your host, and before we jump into the details, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more gripping stories. Also, let me know in the comments if you've ever faced a challenging neighbor situation and how you dealt with it. Imagine enduring incessant knocking on your walls for two years, forcing you to abandon your home each night. That's the reality Mr. Su has faced near Tayong Baru. It started innocently enough, with hand knocking, but quickly escalated into something much more sinister, a suspected hammer against the shared wall, disrupting both day and night. The toll on Mr. Su's mental well-being is immeasurable. The unpredictability of the noises created an atmosphere of fear within his own home, forcing him to seek refuge in his car for a peaceful night's sleep. But why endure such torment? Mr. Su, fearing physical confrontation, chose tolerance over confrontation. This decision, while avoiding immediate conflict, took a toll on his health. He lost weight, suffered from anxiety, and sought relief from traditional Chinese medicine. The emotional turmoil and physical symptoms created a vicious cycle, impacting his daily life and job as a driver. The breaking point came on October 16, 2023, with four hours of relentless wall banging, prompting urgent medical attention for Mr. Su. Unable to endure further, the couple found themselves in a nomadic existence, with Mr. Su spending nights in his car, and his wife seeking refuge with her siblings. The neighbor's aggression reached new heights, evidenced by an 8cm sized hole in their living room wall and the disturbing discovery of urine in their flat. The invasion of privacy and concerns about health and safety left Mr. Su and his wife grappling with fear and uncertainty. As if that wasn't enough, the structural integrity of their residence came into question. Mr. Su expressed genuine concern about the immediate dangers they faced, with large pieces of lime falling through the wall during the neighbor's destructive actions. Despite persistent efforts to seek assistance from HDB and law enforcement agencies, Mr. Su's quest for resolution faced obstacles. Legal channels proved futile, with mediation attempts thwarted by the neighbor's refusal to participate. Now, in a state of vulnerability and homelessness, Mr. Su pleads for authorities to swiftly arrange a new place for them to rent, a place they can finally call home. As we wrap up this heartbreaking story, let's come together as a community. Share your thoughts in the comments, offer support, and let's raise awareness about the impact of neighbor disputes on people's lives. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more impactful stories on 2230. Until next time, stay engaged with the world around you.